hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is a pleasure to have you here guys thank you so much for the love and showing me my first youtube video and today i am back again with yet another video i am going to talk about business entrepreneurship and all that guys so in today's video uh, i'm going to tell you about a checklist that you should have before starting a small business or whatever business that you would like to start if you are looking forward to starting a business or rather you have already started a business this is the video for you guys because i am going to give you deep insight about what you need to know before you start a business or even if you have already started a business it will guide you in knowing the things that you have not done while you are starting your business so let us go straight to number one so guys the first thing that you need to have in your checklist is determine the gap in the market and also determine the location of your business so once you notice that there is a gap in the market identify whatever gap it is and then that will guide you in determining where you're going to locate your business for example if it is a gap that covers just your locality then that means that your business is going to be located just within your locality but if it is a gap that is going to cover a wider uh, area for example it is a gap that you can sell your products to everybody in the country or even outside the country then you also need to determine a location that will be favorable for all your clients it can be a physical location or even an online location we have so many businesses that are just located locally you have seen them the shops the hotels and all that you can just walk into it shop and go what about an online business this is a business that just runs online whereby photos will be posted of different things and all products and services that you are selling and then clients will shop online for the products and then you will deliver the product or the services to them using whatever means that you're going to use for example you can locate a, a shop online whereby you'll be selling clothes you take good quality photos of the clothes that you're selling post them online in your maybe social media pages in your website and all that and then once people are interested in them they will contact you through the different contacts that maybe you will have provided in your online pages and then you will be able to sell your clothes to your clients online and then after that you will ask your client your pref their preferred location where you'll be dropping the product that they have shopped from your shop and whatever shipment method they prefer to use in order to get their product so just like that and you have sold something in your online shop so we have two uh, locations for a business the online and the physical location so let's move on to the next thing that you need to have in your checklist number two which is create or have a business plan so many ones can be used to describe what a business plan but i am going to break down the business plan into different things that i am going to discuss a little bit in details in order for you to understand what you need to have in your business plan number one you're supposed to have the essentials or the product that you're going to involve in your business so number one guys know where to get the product that you're going to sell for example you are, if you are into hair business and you are not the initial supplier of the hair you are going to work with an industry that is supplying hair in also and then you are going to sell that hair to your clients in retail price number two thing that you're supposed to have in your business plan is a budget now this is where it all goes down guys in a business you need to have a budget and i'm going to break down the budget into three main parts sorry number one you need to have a budget for stocking your shop 
this is the money that is set aside for buying the products that you'll be selling in your shop number two money that you need to have in your budget is the money that you are going to use in marketing your product in order for a business to grow you need to market your business sometimes marketing involves using money for example if it is an online shop you can use influencers by paying them to post things that are from your shop in order for you to get followers and eventually get clients into your shop so you need to have a budget for marketing budget number three guys is the money that you're going to keep aside as a risk coverage for your business for example once you start your business something happens and all of a sudden you lose everything you need to start up your business again because already people have known about your business and you have to keep going guys you don't have to stop there you need to pick up yourself again and start up your business again so that money that you have kept aside for risk coverage is what now you bring in into the business again restock your business and you're going to go so uh, number three is the shipping methods this applies mostly in the online businesses so if you're doing online businesses you need to know what method you're going to use in order for your product to reach your customers something i will tell you guys about shipping methods is that when you're this determining the shipping method to use for your business it is always going to make sure that number one the shipping method is reliable because you don't want your client to be complaining every time that your products are being delivered way later for example two weeks later or three weeks, whatever time that is going to inconvenience the client make sure also that the shipping method is cheap you don't need to use a shipping method that is going to send your clients a lot of money in order to ship the product to them for example a client buys a phone worth twenty thousand, and there are two shipping methods one is charging a thousand to ship the product to the client and another one is charging Two thousand or even three thousand to ship the, the the product to the client. You have to go for the cheapest one as long as it is reliable, it is safe, because you don't need your client overcharged by the shipping agencies or the shipping companies that you're going to use to ship your product to them. And also, guys, in a business plan, you also need to know your target audience. For example. If you're starting a shop that is going to be purely based on women clothing then that means that your target audience is women or ladies you need to know your target audience in order for you to be focused on whatever business you're doing because when you mix up yourself guys then that means that you are bringing in a loophole in your business that you might make it fail when you settle in a certain niche for your business specify on that niche first and then after that you can diversify so specify then diversify so and then the same business plan guys you need to define the future of your business of course when you start a business you need it to grow in future for example if today it is bringing in a profit of ten dollars then in five years time you don't need your business to be bringing in the same profit you need something bigger better because you have already invested in it be it your time be it your money so define a future plan of your business in terms of what or where you need your business to be in five years number three find a brand name for your business so if you are starting a business you don't just start a business and do not name it this will apply mostly in the online businesses you have to uh, 
find a brand name that will suit your business and that will be unique and very simple in order for your clients to remember it and also easy to spell in order for them not to make mistakes wherever they are searching for your business online so if you have a website if you have your business based on social media for example instagram and facebook you need to define or rather to have a word for your business that is easy and simple to remember and easy to spell so guys another thing about a brand name make sure that if the brand name relates with whatever product you are selling you don't have to name your shop maybe something related to food whereas you're selling clothes make sure that your brand name goes hand in hand with whatever you're selling number four for online businesses specifically for online businesses you uh, if you are at a position the data for a website where your clients can visit and shop at the comfort of their homes without involving anybody for example we have uh, online shops that have websites and even applications where people can download install in their phones and do the shopping at the comfort of their home so if you are at a position to do that you can do it in order to make shopping for your clients easier and now for the physical businesses make sure that you have you have set up your business structure a business structure can be a house it can be a huge shop for example a supermarket or whatever thing as strong as it is your structure for your business we have those people who sell smokies their structure is simply the stroller whereby they put the smokies and the mayai the eggs that is it guys so just know or set up your business structure whereby you will be operating your business from so the last point guys is to launch your business and market it there are many businesses do not need so much launching especially if they are small businesses and on the marketing uh, there are so many ways in which you can market your business you can market your business through social media you can market your business through tagging other brands you can also use the affiliate programs in order to market your business you can do send the PR packages to different people for them to review your product and also you can do giveaways guys uh, I feel that marketing a business there's so many ways in which you can market it and it is a very wide wide topic so if you need me guys to discuss it widely please let me know in the comment section and that is it for today guys